Hello everybody, welcome back here to franktortorici.com. Again, as always, if you're joining me through Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, or franktortorici.com, or createyourhealth.com, I'd like to welcome you all. So today I want to touch on, I came across something very disturbing uh, this morning, and I had to post this and get this out there. Um, I came across an online film, and I will post the link down below. It's called The Disappearing Mail, and it's about a 45-minute film, and it's very, very, very eye-opening, but yet very disturbing. I took some notes here, and I just want to share it with you guys, and um, it's just, it's a crazy thing. So, it, it's a film touching on the impact of environmental and chemical environment that we live in that it is having on the male reproductive system. For some reason, it's not necessarily affecting women as much as it is men. And the uh, University of Rochester uh, did a study, and they're finding that synthetic chemicals are more damaging to young men. And they are tracking the fertility of young men, and they found that young men in college produce less than half the sperm than their father's generation did, and about 85% of that sperm is abnormal. That's crazy. Uh, also in the film, they highlight a marine biologist by the name of Louis Gillette, who actually studies um, alligators down in Florida. And he's studying them in polluted waters, known to be very polluted waters, high in uh, D DDT and different types of pesticides. And they're finding that the size and just the quality and the function of the reproductive organs in the alligators have been diminishing rapidly. Okay, uh, they find pesticides and tons of other chemicals in that water where they're studying the development of these alligators. See, synthetic chemicals, they block the function of testosterone production in the male body. So that's a big problem because we are breathing in chemicals, we're ingesting chemicals, we're bathing in chemicals, we're putting skin chemicals on our body. It is all over the place. Uh, what else can I share with you? They did find also another interesting, uh, I get, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing it right, it's called uh, uh, Amajiwang, Ontario. It's in Ontario, Canada. And there's a major power plant there, one of the largest in the world. It emits 130,000 tons of chemicals in the air a year. And they found, uh, let me get this right here, they found a massive decline in male uh, births in that state, in that city, from 1999 to 2003. The percentage of male births dropped, by, I think they said like, uh, I think like they said to anywhere from like 65 to 80 percent from where it normally was way back when. So that's a uh, pretty, pretty disturbing information. And another interesting fact I found in this film is that the chem chemical industry is roughly about 100 years old. It really took uh, flight during World War II. And, I mean, that's interesting because we always hear that, you know, wars are set up by the governments to create different types of political and, and massive financial capitalistic gains. So they found a major demand for chemicals, vaccines, antibiotics, different types of pesticides starting from World War II up until now. And look at where we're at now. We've got mandatory vaccinations going on. We've got massive amounts of genetically modified foods, injected animals, uh, children being given antibiotics and different types of medication for every little thing. And again, the most important thing, you've got mothers who are ingesting all of these chemicals and then they're birthing a child which is absorbing all that in the womb and then of course when the mother breastfeeds they're passing those chemicals on to the child as well and then if they don't breastfeed they're doing the powdered and synthetic form in those plastic bottles which have all the other chemicals as well and that's one of the biggest culprits that we've seen over the last hundred years that they show in this film is the chemical of plastic when you think about it so many babies are around plastic, they're drinking from it, they're playing with it. It's a very dangerous type of a chemical compound that is affecting children. And one of the most alarming things they say in this film and that they show through these studies is that it's really the unborn children of even the following generation that are going to suffer even more. 
and you know the guidelines from the medical industry of a fertile sperm count are dropping lower and lower and lower each year so that's a very very this is a very scary alarming thing again I'm gonna post the link in the bottom so you guys can click on it and watch the film see what you think feel free to post comments but really what do we take away from this well we can't live in a bubble I mean that's that's a given where we're subjected to all these types of chemicals every which way we turn but again when we have the 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 skill and the the knowing to make the right choices then it becomes a different story we can control what we put in and on our body as far as what I'm breathing and you know what I'm what I'm subjected to in my day-to-day -day life I can't really control that but I can control what I put in my body as food, what I drink as liquid, what I'm putting on my skin, on my hair, everything that's going into my bloodstream, I can control that for the most part. So this all brings it back to home base where we always talk about eating the things that God intended, leaving the, putting the things down that man created, leaving all of man's vaccines and supplements, putting them, uh, medications, putting them all away, Start incorporating more food-based herbal supplements into our lifestyle. Uh, high quality of, of different types of fruits and vegetables. Always organic. Nothing genetically modified. Nothing conventional. Eating the highest quality of animal products. Making sure that, again, you know, we are what we eat and we are also what that animal eats. So making sure the animals are eating the highest quality food sources as well with not being subjected to any types of chemicals or hormones or steroids or anything like that. So I want to thank you guys for your time. Again, if you have not subscribed already, please click the subscription button right here on the YouTube channel. It is absolutely free. You can check me out at createyourhealth.com, uh, Facebook, and Twitter as well. And again, my website is right here, www.franktortorici.com. So I want to thank you guys for your time. Please pass this video along to your family and friends. Post it on your pages. Get the word out. Let people see this film. It is eye-opening. Peace and love, everyone.